Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you've seen this face before, hi, welcome, how you doing? So if you don't know what Project Pan is, Project Pan is basically a concept in uh, the makeup world where your aim is to hit pan or like just finish up um, products in your collection. So um, as a heads up, I will be talking about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I might refer to it as um, JSC. Uh, I no longer am a customer of Jeffree Star Cos Cosmetics. I was a huge fan back in the day, but I do not like um, supporting things with con uh, brands of con with a lot of controversy surrounding them. If a brand has changed over time, I might go back and repurchase um, or purchase from them. But from the bat, it's just not something I'm comfortable with as um, a client because I, I try to make my money ma my money talk for me. That's basically what it is. Uh, it, it will come up quite a bit this project pan because I'm looking at um, panning a lot of Jeffree Star products because I was quite a big fan girl in, back in the day. Um, so let's start with eyeshadows. I've got a couple eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to look into patting this year. So what I'm going to do is basically um, rotate them in and out every month. So this month of February, I'm going to be looking into patting this um, Jeffree Star and uh palette. I've had it since, I want to say 2017, maybe 2018. And I've done quite a good job at um, hitting pan on all of the shades. Um, one thing that you'll notice with a lot of my eyeshadows is that I like swirl in one place which like makes me hit pan on spots a lot quicker. So I used to enjoy this palette, I know I did. Um, the shade Safe Word um, is quite a nice con contour shade on me uh, because I I like to say I'm neutral but I know I'm very cool tone and uh, Safe Word is quite a like grey uh, contour shade and all the other contour shades I've ever tried in the, in the past were um, very orange. So if you do have any um, recommendations for a grey cool tone contour that works, preferably maybe a cream, I don't know, I'm, I'm open to the formula, but something that will work and like make my face look a bit nicer, please let me know. Um, I did my eye look today and in the past video with this eyeshadow palette. Um, it's all right. I don't like all the shades in here, to be honest. The two blues, I find them quite um, difficult to work with. I, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I also struggle using this alone um, a lot, a lot of the times. Oh, I should have gone in order of face products. From now on, we'll go in order from face products. Starting with primers, I've got two that I'm looking at panning uh, this year um, because I already found a replacement I very much enjoy. Uh, the first up is Nikki Tutorials brand, uh, Nimya. This is the Where It All Starts, the Where It All Starts cream. Um, I've had it since the launch, so I'm quite like almost done with it. It's okay. Uh, I uh, it's very glittery. That's my one problem with it. Um, I like that it brightens my face. I will say that. I might repurchase it. I might. I'm not gonna hide that. Um, I like the scent, uh, I like the way it feels, but I've got a couple problems with like A, how glittery it is, B, how um, sometimes when I use a moisturizer because my nose, my, well, especially my nose, but my face gets quite dry in the winter, um, depending on the moisturizer I'm using, it will pill um, my both the both this and my foundation and basically every, it will pill my makeup or my skincare which isn't great. It might be other things that it's interacting with and it doesn't like, but it's 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 doing what it does. Um, the next up is this Ordinary um, High Dared Silicone Primer. I, I don't see what it does. Um, I've had it before. I think I liked it because it was quite cheap at the time and it was like easily accessible to me, uh, but I don't, I don't like it anymore. Just to show you the primer that I'm currently using and loving is the um, NYX Cosmetics Plump It Right Back. Um, this is great. Sorry, swear jar. This is great. <laughs> so uh, next thing I do to my face is concealer. I've been using the the, the most concealer from Kimchi Chic, 
the color corrector um, and um, these concealers in light beige and ivory just to give you an idea of my skin tone and ivory is white light beige might be a bit too dark so I don't think I have the right undertone I need to get my undertone matched I think I, but I'm pretty sure I'm cool and I think I'm not sure if light beige is cool they're all right I just I want change and I want to finish them um, I don't like the color correctors all that much um, I find it like once I apply it to my face it dries down really fast by the way this look was entirely created with all these products that I'm talking about today so you will see maybe my voiceover with me applying the product to my face oh I forgot to talk about eyeshadow primer so eyeshadow primer it's the NYX cosmetics proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer I have no problems with it I'm just I'm bored of it and I want to get um, I don't know if I want to replace it or supplement it with a eyeshadow primer that is um, white or very clear so that I can uh, do more colorful eyeshadow looks. But yeah, back to the concealer. I don't mind it. They're a bit boring. They're a bit like, they dry down really fast or you have to apply a lot um, to get it to move around. Well, no, they don't dry down really fast. This dries down really fast, but I'm using really small quantities of it because it's corrector, not like a concealer. These are fine. I just, I want a different formula. That's it. So moving on is foundations. This is the foundation I want to um, pan this year. Granted, no, I, I do want to pan on my NYX uh, cosmetics uh, foundations. This is way too light for me. Like, um, it's what I have on my face. It looks like it matches my neck, but it doesn't. Um, I used to be this color. This is um, light porcelain uh, in the Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX uh, full coverage foundation. I don't, I used to like it, uh, now I have to mix it with the Nimia um, License to Glow Serum to make it um, a texture that I like or else it is way too thick. Um, I just, I don't think I'm into full, full coverage foundations anymore and I think I need to go get color matched and talk to someone who will give me a foundation that I like. Um, and these Born to Glows, um, they pull orange on me, at least it feels that way, it doesn't feel like, sometimes the color matches really close and I can like work with it, uh, especially with porcelain, but light ivory is too dark and pulls a weird undertone on me. Additionally, like I've got the e.l.f. CC camo, the camo CC cream in uh, the shade 120 clear, 120 fair, <laughs> clear. Sorry, it says clair on the back, très clair. So I was really clear. I like the formula, I wore it a lot last summer uh, because I was pale. Bright blush. Uh, I want to pan this sample, or I don't know, but this I don't know if it's me or the sample of the Dandelion Dew blush from um, Benefit. I don't really like this type of tacky, it's not tacky, but like the consistency throws me off all the time when I use it. It's almost done, I just don't like it, so I don't use it, and I want to pan it. It's really pink, and I like a pink blush. I'm wearing a pink blush. I wear the uh, Milani Dolce Pink, uh, which I'm also trying to pan. But it's like, this is too much, if that makes sense. And it stays on my beauty blenders or the sponges for way too long. Speaking of other cheek products, this got quite beat up. It's the NYX uh, Matte Bronzer in Light. I've hit pan on this one. I don't like it because it pulls me, it, it looks orange on me. What can I say? Additionally, I want to pan this uh, Rimmel London Instant Insta Con Duo Contour Stick in light shade light. Um, I don't really use. I've hardly ever used this highlighter. Um, I just don't like it. Um, it's not smooth. It's crispy on the skin. <laughs> Let's call it that way. Crispy on the skin. I've used this contour stick quite a bit, as you can see. Um, but it pulls very orange on the skin as well. Moving on. Highlighters, I think we're all past the like heavy highlighter um, back of the day, but I still wear highlighter I like how it looks on me um, I'm looking to pan this wet and wild um, Mega glow highlighting powder in the shade Who even knows I don't I don't have the shade on me. I'll try and put it in somewhere. I've hit pan quite quite a bit It's 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 getting there and additionally uh, I'm going to hit pan. I'm going to try and finish this um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which I've kind of covered up with this pink post-it because um, I use it as a mirror because I quite like the size of um, the mirror. So the mirror has a nice size. Um, I use it quite often when I'm doing my makeup, so I didn't want to constantly put a brand name um, 
on uh, on camera. Um, as you can see, I've hit pan on it as well. I dropped it. I had to repress it, um, but I've hit pan on it. Mascaras. Uh, I've got two. I want to pan. It's there's this Gala, which I got uh, as a gift from uh, one of my family members, and this um, Yves Rocher um, Sexy Pulp Volume Volume Extreme mas mascara. This is a black one. This is a brown one. Um, I really like this one. Let's start with the positives. I really like this one. I like the way the brush looks, which is like this. It's one of these. I like this brush shape quite a lot. I think it does my lashes beautifully. This is a mascara I don't like. I don't like the brush. I don't like the formula. So this is the brush. I don't think the bristles do anything. It comes off like crazy. It makes my eyes tears up. Um, I fit it out using the Inglot Dura line and it does well. I want to do that, but um, I don't like it. I have um, a black mascara that I like a lot better than this one, so I'm trying to pan it because it's expensive. Uh, for my eyebrows, I've got a couple products, which are these Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. No, I'm not trying to pan this one. I quite like the clear brow gel. Uh, I just don't use it very often because my it makes my eyebrows a bit crunch crunchy. But I'm trying to pan this like tint. Thing. I, I don't remember what it's called and then the brow whiz. I, I only fill in my brows because I've got a couple gaps at the front of both of them and like maybe I draw a bit more of the arch. Try to figure out what to do with my eyebrows. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm just doing them. Yeah, um, I'm trying to pan this here to pan all my Jeffree Star lips. We're gonna start with the two darker colors because I can still get away with dark colors in um, February. And which is the shade Santa Baby, which is this like purpley color, and uh, how, how Are You, which is like glittery, red, pinky lip. They're all right, I've worn them both in the past and enjoyed them, just not a fan of Jeffree Star. Um, in terms of lip gloss, uh, I think the only one I really want to pan is uh, this class um, Instant Lights Natural Lip Perfector. I think this is in the shade number one. It's a pink, it's what I have on my lips now. It's not bad, I just don't like it. Um, more mini lipsticks that I'm, patting, I'm going to pan this year is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipsticks in Kiss and Soft Pink. Soft Pink still has quite a bit to go. I don't like the way the color looks, so I don't wear it as often, but I can make it work. And Kiss, I am almost done. So that's, that's a goal. Speaking of, I've got another Jeffree Star thing. It's the lip, I think it's called a lip ammo? The bullet lipstick, basically. In the shade Calabasas. I like it, I want to find a dupe. Um, it's quite good. We don't stand people who are problematic. Uh, additionally, I do have this Model Co ancient lipstick that I inherited from my mom. Um, it's, it's nice, I like it, I wear it. The gloss I don't like as much, it's way too tacky, but I'm gonna try and pan both. For setting sprays, uh, now that my camera's alive, um, I'm going to pan, well I want to pan the, I'm almost done, the Nimia Set It and Forget It setting spray. Um, I, I don't, I've got a couple issues with it, I don't dislike it, I just don't think it's all that. I, it, it makes my face really crunchy, um, so like I, I have it on and I can feel like my eyebrows getting really like stiff. Um, I can feel like the skin pulling. I don't know if that's one of its intended effects, but um, it does its job in keeping my makeup in place all day. Uh, I just don't like that it makes my clothes and my hair crunchy in, um, in parallel. So if they ever edit the formula just a tiny bit, that would be like, but I like wearing it under, um, so when I have my concealer done, um, so foundation, concealer, color corrector. When I lay down all my cream products, um, right before I do my powder, I use this and then I uh, finish off my face with um, the Urban Decay um, All Nighter, which I really like and I've used before in the past and I think it's fabulous. So uh, why change something if it ain't broke? So that's setting spray out of the way. Uh, there's a couple other products I didn't talk about um, that I'm probably gonna actively use as well. Uh, but I'll talk about it in March just because there's a lot of products now and um, I've edited down and I've, I already have like a lot of bunch of video But I think it's important to talk about what I have panned so far 
I have a little box. Um, my cellar water. Um, I'm going to talk to talk about skincare as well in March. Uh, this is my favorite micellar water. It's the Gagne Skin Active Micellar Water with um, Rose Water. Uh, I really enjoy it. I love it a lot. I accidentally did not buy it. Well, I, I, I tried to like switch for the one with my vitamin C. I don't like it as much. Uh, my all-time favorite uh, cleansing balm is um, the um, Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero. I bought a smaller jar uh, this time around just because um, it took me quite a while to get through this one and I just wanted to see how fast I can get the smaller one and just gauge like which one I should buy. Perfume, uh, I finished the um, Philosophy Amazing Grace by Lay Rose. Would not repurchase personally like it was nice i got it as a gift would not purchase it myself it's 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 rose smelling and i don't think i'm a huge fan of roses um i tried uh salt of the earth natural uh deodorant um i do think i want to look into more natural deodorant than uh just your standard uh company uh like satinx or whatnot this did not work for me um i still sweated through this uh i know it's deodorant and not an antiperspirant but it it wasn't deodorant <laughs> it wasn't doing its job effectively and i don't see how it smelled of lavender or vanilla which it claims it does i want to talk about uh function of beauty i love them uh <laughs> but they're expensive uh i'm on student budget i can't necessarily afford like 50 euros or so worth of shampoo you know it lasts me six months uh i really love the hair serum that i had uh it made my hair really nice and like curly because it's like it looks really flat, but I'm on like three days no wash now. Um, but it, trust me, it does curl. You can see there's kind of some waves in it. Yeah, my hair is kind of curly, kind of wavy. Uh, I really like the serum. It um, was peach scented and it really did smell of peaches. Um, I I had their peach scent and their mango scent. I think the mango scent is my favorite, but I think in the serum the peaches. Perfect. I also had a mini Kiehl's. Um, Candula Herbal Extract Toner. Um, no faults, don't really like it. I use um, The Ordinaries. I don't, well, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't see why I would replace the one I'm currently using, which is The Ordinaries Glycolic Acid Toner, which I really like and enjoy. Um, I did try this concealer, which is the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camo Concealer um, Satin Finish in the shade Light Ivory. I kind of liked it. It did pull orange, but I, I I think I needed to change some like the undertone or something. I don't I don't know. I'll, I need to figure out why things pull orange on my skin. It wasn't bad. Liked it. Maybe I'll try the other formula, but I understand it's matte, and I'm not really into the whole matte thing. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's um it's skin tiger C um Sika Sisal tone up cushion. It the the packaging is absolutely adorable when it wants to focus. Like, the packaging is really cute. I'm like 98, so the Year of the Tiger just finished. What a shame. But, um, I love everything to do with tigers. This little packaging was quite nice. And then you had like a sponge, and then here was the product. It was also a gift. Um, I, I, I don't know what it did for me, <laughs> is if I'm being honest, but I'm not gonna knock it. I just don't know what it did for me. <laughs> If it works for you, it works for you, and I'm not gonna like if if it seems to fit your skin um, issues, then go for it. I just I didn't get it. I also uh, sorry when I have tubes, I cut them up. I also uh, finished this Dr. Young AC Control um, out clean out out no out cleansing foam. I'm sorry, I'm doing a swear jar. I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle. Um, trying to uh, put this so out cleaning acne cream uh, acne prevent clearing cleanser for complex i liked it i know i liked it um i also did their um tried their makeup remover i don't remember what it's called and i don't i didn't apparently didn't save the packaging uh i i liked but not as much as i like the um vanilla vanilla co cleansing balm if i ever find dr young this brand in uh the netherlands or in europe I'm definitely repurchasing because I like that a lot. This is ancient. Um, this is a uh, revolution. It was called something like bake or translucent powder. I, I don't know what it was called, but I had no thoughts. It was quite thick. Um, I think I prefer thinner powder and I'm trying to pan the Jeffree Star one. I didn't talk about in this video, but I'm, I'm just not a fan of this one. And 
I think I like a lot, a lot of thinner powder. Then I have a couple samples, the Lan Lancome um, Advanced Genifique, I really enjoyed, like really enjoyed, and then I saw the price tag and I went, ah, I can see why I really enjoyed it. Um, if I ever have the opportunity to purchase it full size, then you know I've done well in life. Uh, this is a uh, Lancome La Vie Belle um, perfume sample, really sweet. I'm not, I wasn't mad at it, but it was just really sweet. Um, I feel more into like a woodier, floral, citrusy person. This is Chanel, uh, Chance Chanel. It was all right. Mon Guerlain, by Guerlain. I think I like this one. I just, I don't remember it. It's not what I'm using at the moment. Uh, it's been a while. And then this is the Chanel Le Lift uh, Serum. Le Lift Serum, sorry. It was okay, for example. I, I don't know. I've... And then the Benetint uh, by Benefit. Um, I like, I think I'm going to purchase one day the full size sample once I get through all my other lip tints. But I, full size sample, the full size one when um, I have the opportunity because I, I like the color you made my lips on that, like a no makeup makeup day. That was just like the perfect rosy. So yeah, those are all the things I've panned in the past. I'm gonna say the past year because I know some things are a bit like older and some of them were really recent and I know I, I threw away a, a bunch of things I've had and I can't remember. But these are all gonna go in the trash now. Well, recycling trash, follow your local uh, recycling guides and whatnot. They're gonna go where they need to go. And yeah, so I will update you in March on how I'm doing with everything, but this is everything I panned so far. Comment down below whatever you thought or products that you recommend for me, um, especially for the things I've asked for recommendations for. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, just things that um, you recommend for me. I will do another video like this in March, just updating and um, showing you things I'm rotating in and things I'm rotating out. And um, that's it. So like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube things. If you dislike the video, let me know. I'm always looking to grow and improve. Uh, I'm getting back in the game, so I'm just, I don't know if this seems very clunky. It feels clunky to me, so I know it feels clunky to you. Uh, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye.